This battle for this nation is a battle between an eagle and a vulture. Come on somebody. As I was praying and interceding, can you look at the, the fight between the eagle and the vulture? Come on, somebody said amen. amen. Who will win? I'm going to ask you one more time. Who will win? Turn to your neighbor and say, the eagle is ready. Somebody, somebody, somebody lift your hands and give glory to the Lord. Somebody said, Amen. Is it going to be the eagle or is it going to be the vulture? When I looked at the quality of the eagle and when I looked at the qualities of vulture, I understood in Exodus chapter 19 verse 4, the Lord says, you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself i brought you to myself america i bore you on eagle's wings we from the nations have come here because the eagle brought us here how many people came on the wings of the eagles i want you to stand and give glory to god come on come on come on the eagle bore you on its pinions and brought you to himself I'm not going to say names I'm not going to not because I am I'm, I'm scared it's just that I want to give you things and you yourself will know I refer to whom and what Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 14 and everyone had four faces the first face was the face of a cherub and the second face was the face of a man and the third the face of a lion and the fourth the face of an eagle the eagle the heavenly bodies had a facet that was the face of an eagle why did god choose this nation of america because he wants it to be the dimension of the eagle to the nations god wants a leader for this nation to be an eagle and not a vulture somebody said hallelujah i don't know about you I got it the moment the Holy Spirit revealed things. Is it the eagle or the vulture America? The eagle is coming. Write it down. The difference between an eagle and a vulture. There are several things that you need to understand. They both belong to the diurnal birds of prey family. Though they are members of the same family, the eagle behaves differently. The vulture behaves differently the eagle is made of different thing and uh, the vulture is entirely different the eagle is supreme its wingspan is so big a larger head a sharper beak much more powerful talons weapons that are perfectly adapted to take the prey america will become great again the American eagle, the bald eagle will fly again. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Vultures, they fly as a crowd, but eagle flies alone. Just near the election, some of the other eagles are trying to identify with this eagle. But before, this eagle was flying alone. So many vultures were attacking it. But this eagle kept flying. The eagle soars at the command of God. That's what God said. In Job 39, 26 and 27, he says, Does the eagle soar at your command? Meaning, the eagle will soar only when God commands it. 2024 November, the Lord is commanding the eagles to fly. Every prophecy has to have a witness from the word of God. I am speaking from the word of God. I have a witness from the word of God. The eagle, it flies alone. It is powerful. It is graceful. 
Why does it fly alone? Because the eagle dreams on another level. I am speaking not only about President Trump. I am speaking about you. You are alone for a purpose. Because you dream differently. Some people are not able to fly along with you because you are different. Hey, why are you going to church every day? I am an eagle. I am an eagle. Why are you sowing so much? I am an eagle. Why are you saying so much? I am an eagle. Why is your church doing so much? We are eagles. Eagles dream on a different level. Eagles fly on another level. Eagles lead on another level. Eagles build on another level. Somebody left you. They are chickens. Chickens. Cluck, 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 cluck. Talking about everybody and anybody. Oh, Trump is this. He's a misogynist. Oh, he's a fascist. Oh, if he comes, America is doomed. Hello. The eagle is on a different level. The eagle is on an assignment. The Lord himself has called the eagle. At his command, the eagle will fly. It's a story of a farmer who got an eagle's egg. He brought it to the farm to be hatched by his farm in the house of the hens. When the chicks came out, they all clucked. But the eagle did not. <laughs> it felt inferiority complex. Because he was the odd one with a nasty beak. Other chicks always pricked on it. One day, the eaglet was feeling so bad. So bad, so bad. It prayed, God, let me die. I am an ugly being. I am hated by all. Suddenly, there was a shadow that flew past up above the sky. There was a big eagle that was calling. For the first time, this eaglet that was clucking and picking worms from the ground lifted its head and looked at somebody similar to it. And there was a call from the giant father eagle. And the, the eagle would say, Hey son, hey son, my daughter sitting in CMFI, I have called you for another level. For the first time, the eaglet which was thinking it had no capability of flying, stretched out its wings and found out it had the ability to fly high. How many eagles are going to fly from today? Come on, somebody. I want some eagles flying. Come on. You were in the wrong place. The Lord is shifting you to the right place. The Lord is moving some people. Some people pack your bags and get ready. Because you are going to join the league. The league of the eagles. Because you are called to fly and dream and move higher. Come on somebody. Somebody said amen. Number two. The eagles have accurate vision. The eyesight of the eagle is so strong it has the ability to focus on something as far as five kilometers no matter the obstacles they have the ability to focus on the prey until it uh, grabs it in deuteronomy 28 49 the lord will bring a nation against you from a, from far away from the ends of the earth like an eagle swooping down like an eagle swooping down. When the eagle swoops down, it can go to uh, the speed of 183 kilometers per hour. Can you imagine? That's like a cat five hurricane. It can go that fast. I'm telling you it's time for the eagle to come and pick up its prey. Amen. Somebody lift your hands and say, Amen. Amen. Sir, what's different between the eagle and the vulture? The vulture doesn't go for its fresh prey. The vulture feeds on the carcasses of other... Meaning, the vulture never goes to the primary. The vulture doesn't go to the primaries. 
the vulture doesn't go through any of the system but it needs power but it needs the share of everything that the eagle has that eagle has fought its way to be there the eagle has taken all the pricks of all the other things so many crows were sitting on the eagle and pricking and but the eagle said no i am not going to give up because god has commanded me to fly god has commanded me to steer the ship god has commanded me this is my assignment this is my assignment i have to take lead i am a leader but the vulture just wants the food he is not here the vulture is not here it doesn't have any glory it doesn't have any accomplishment it did not have a far sighted vision it does not have a far sighted vision the vultures can't see from afar you know what they actually the vultures do how do they pray they sniff they smell eagles see vultures smell vulture sniffs and goes after dead carcasses eagle sees a live prey god is going to give you fresh souls america god is going to give you fresh anointing god is going to give you new ideas hallelujah more business is coming america is going to lead the nations fresh visions fresh ideas somebody shout amen. amen that's what job 39:30 says it's young ones feast on blood blood will be there only in a fresh kill only in a fresh kill that is what america is going to do america is going to rise up the eagles they always try to go above the storm in a storm the vulture hides but the eagles fly are you ready are you ready i believe you are going to look at the storm and you're going to smile because your opposition is your opportunity i think the more they speak about president trump he is gaining more votes the more they hit at him he is getting more words somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah proverbs 30 was 18 and 19 there are three things that are too amazing for me four that i do not understand the way of an eagle in the sky the way of eagle in the sky it amazes me says solomon in India, we have a place called Thirukkalu Kundram. It means uh, the place where eagles come. Do you know where these eagles come? They come all the way from uh, Australia. They migrate and come. Who gave them a GPS? Who gave them a GPS? Come on. Are eagles superior being, beings to humans? If I pull out the GPS from your mobile phone, will you be able to come to Westminster? But the eagle follows the way of the Lord. The Lord himself direct the eagle. America will be directed by the Lord. America will be led by the Lord. America will be led. The eagle will be led by the Lord himself. Somebody shout hallelujah.